You know one thing that we literally, literally all of us take for granted? Like literally everybody? Air conditioning? Okay, yes, but you know what else that we all take for granted? Like every single person takes for granted. Toothpaste. Are you gonna let me finish talking? It is a rhetorical question. Oh. It's not the, can Skip and come up with the full list. It is a, what Chavez, what is it? Chavez the Lucky video? <laughs> you are a dick. You are a dick. It is produce. Produce is the one thing. People get that shit. You just go to the fridge, you eat the shit out the fridge, and you don't even fucking think about it. You don't think about there was a time where people didn't have fridges. Unless you're me. I am always, I always over inspect my produce and you yell at me for it. Hand me that, uh, mouse. What sound was that exactly? What sound was that? What was that the sound of? <laughs> <laughs> what was that the sound of? <laughs> well, you laughing, I'm serious. It was the sound of me reaching for the mouse. Okay, you are so goddamn silly. But, even the fact that you analyze your produce proves my point, Skitten. The point being, you have produce to analyze. I'm saying, what if you look through your produce and it's all just rotten? Your, your, your selection is rotten, a little bit less rotten, still rotten. Those are your solutions. I guess I wouldn't be eating any fucking produce then. That's what I'm saying, man. People take that shit for granted. So now we're gonna watch the Salmonella Academy. Why produce used to suck? Right in your pocket. <laughs> that is inappropriate. You are going to get us demonetized. <laughs> get your finger out of my pocket. <laughs> Hey kids, you've probably seen this scene in TV or movies at some point. A couple of people end up stranded on a desert island, totally isolated from all civilization. So it seems like there's no hope he for He is so good at drawing sad faces. Jesus Christ. These people, it's a stick figure, but this is how you know stick figures are an art, because those people look desperate. Yes. Yeah. All civilization. It seems like there's no hope for survival, but then one of them looks three feet to the left and oh my god, it's a tree full of fully grown, plump, delicious, smiling, golden skinned bananas. Amazing. We're, We're so safe for attitude. the time being. Hey, don't eat those. Don't. They're made of lies. <laughs> don't fuck it. <laughs> See? Listen, why do fruit exist? For a delicious, nutritious snack for humans and animals alike to enjoy? <laughs> do that nigga. Do it. No, you didn't have to go throwing him into the sun like that. You're next, Susan! <laughs> How did you know my name? I created you. <laughs> anyway, as most of you probably he know... He treating that nigga like, like Miguel treated that girl in Texas, Oh my bro. god! That's how he treated her, bro. He treated her like Miguel's backhand. Fruit are a thing because my, nature my figured out, hey, if you put a little bit of deliciousness around your seed, it'll convince some idiot... <laughs> Made that joke. I made that joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> made that joke, my hydraulics, bro. That was so fucking funny. He just watched you slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. They don't sit up, my hydraulics don't sit up all the way, so I've been slowly getting shorter in my YouTube videos <laughs> over months, but like nobody notices, you know what I mean? Because it's over such a long period of time. Right. Sorry, here we go. Are a thing because nature figured out, hey, if you put a little bit of deliciousness around your seed, it'll convince some idiot bird or something to carry your baby off to faraway lands, right? But then humans showed up and were like, hey, that's pretty nifty. Listen, is it cool if we selectively breed you for thousands of years to give you horrific deformities to crank up that whole deliciousness part a couple hundred notches? Alright, cool. Let's take a look at bananas, specifically the Cavendish variety that we all know and love. On the inside, we got like 2% seeds, 93% delectable banana meat, and 5% that brown part at the bottom that your mom says is perfectly fine to eat, but you still don't trust. Great for a snack, terrible for reproducing efficiently. Meanwhile, check out the thing on the right here. That's Musa acuminata, one of the suspected ancestors of today's nanners. Much smaller and jam-packed with seeds, with just enough flesh in there to make it worth some smelly primate's time. <laughs> crack open a yellow one with the boys. Here's another wild type banana, Musa balbiziana. Less sweet, way starchier, harder to get into, hella seeds, same shit different day really. But hey, if you stick that boy in the ground, you've got an okay chance of making a new banana. Tree. If you out. bury a modern Dumb. banana, all you're gonna end up with is a dirty banana. And not that one club in Miami, I mean an actual <laughs> dirty banana. Dirty That's banana. because, like Ew. a lot of cultivated fruit, what the culinary fuck? bananas are so inbred. Bro, why the fuck does he look like that? <laughs> like he was a regular ass banana. I'm 
I'm telling you, this man is an artist. Now formed that they can't produce offspring even if they wanted to. So, word of advice for you men out there. If ever a lady points out how poorly endowed you are, just show her this JPEG. She'll say, wow. I didn't realize it was so potent and fertile. You really opened my eyes, thank you. you Bananas you're, aren't the only piece of small, produce to follow this pattern. Small penis is equal potent sperm. Potent sperm. Which means you're still not having sex. This is a bad, bro, that's a bad analogy. Not you did not help shot. anybody For example, with that. Oh take God. the watermelon. According to Monsanto, everybody's favorite Bro, corporate. Monsanto such fucking dicks. Please, preach, brother. Please. Take the watermelon. Preach. According to Monsanto, everybody's favorite corporation, the first evidence fucking of human dicks. cultivation of the watermelon dates back to Egypt around 5,000 years ago. Wait, back then, they, they were only two watermelons? inches in diameter, <laughs> around the size of a tennis ball. The flesh was supposedly tough and bitter, much like that of a tennis ball. It was ball. not good. Of course, of course, just as the growth of a delicious green baby takes time, so too did the evolution of the modern watermelon. In fact, even as late as the mid-1600s, watermelons looked way different from what we have today, okay. as shown by this painting by Giovanni Stanchi. Notice the thicker rind, the larger seeds, and the weird segmentation on the Ew. inside. Definitely a cooler still life subject, but ultimately inferior as a summertime snack. How about vegetables? Tell me, do you enjoy cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, collard greens, broccoli, or cauliflower? Sure. I mean, I guess I like broccoli. Yeah, all cauliflower. Cauliflower. The rest are kind of gross though. Wrong! All six of these vegetables are actually the same thing! That means you like them all! That's not how that works. <laughs> I'll be good. Anyway, these <laughs> veggies are all just cultivars of the same species, Brassica oleracea, otherwise known as wild cabbage. Every part of the plant is edible to some extent, but there's not much of it to go around. So a bunch of different people throughout history said, all right, what if we just take one specific part of the plant and go fucking insane with it? And that's what they did. Those who bred for giant leaves got kale. Going for huge dense flower buds gets you broccoli. Juicy engorged lateral leaf buds equal Brussels sprouts, etc. Speaking of segues, let's check out egg Plants. Hey. The OG eggplant was first domesticated in India where it can still be found in the wild today. What? It looks nothing like an eggplant though. They actually resemble little green berries the size of grapes. The only thing it seems to have in common with the classic <laughs> purple eggplant is how little both of them have in common with an egg. However, if we okay. add the RGB percentage values of their color and merge their shapes, we do get what looks approximately <laughs> like an egg. So I guess that solves that mystery. This whole <laughs> that is such a good joke. Oh both God. not eggs, yet both could be eggs. Potential. Well, transformation really is a testament to man's greatness, though. <laughs> That's like starting out with a frog and selectively breeding them until you end up with Grimace from McDonald's lore. Speaking All right. of which, did you know Grimace used to be evil and have four arms? This is a real thing. I'd like to That's think that so when they terrifying. lapped off his extra limbs, all his lopped evil off, energy bro. went with him. And now there's just two plump purple cylinders <laughs> scampering around the countryside waiting to pull unsuspecting kids under ball pits, never to be seen again. Jesus. That's just my McDonald's right. headcanon, though. Anyway, back to whatever we were talking about. Yeah, Next what are is we talking corn, about? Or, sorry, maize. Yeah, I call yeah, it maize. corn like a normal person. If it was supposed to be called maize, these would be called maize mazes. Obviously, <laughs> that's like the perfect opportunity, but they're not, so put an etymological sock in it. Or stocking. Anyway, I was totally <laughs> expecting old corn to look like those baby corns you find in Chinese food and literally nowhere else. Turns out those actually are just baby corns. They're just, One suspected I was about to say, ancestor of corn, corn is Teosinti, which looks like this. Gee whiz, Sam, that sure does look look like garbage. Good eye, Billy. That's because it was garbage. Absolutely. Whereas modern uh, corn has a kernel count of hundreds, Teosinti only has 5 to 12, with each one being kernels. encased in a hard shell that's basically impossible to get into short- Kernels. Like Nur- Nur- Nurger -san Santi. Nurger Gante? Yeah. Could be not saying that right, by the way. The, Wait, the, so I've been- I've been- Practicing saying practicing something that might be that wrong? Yeah, there's also a, a monster named uh, the Cuckoo Kalu, and I didn't know that's how you said it at all. I called it the Cuckoo Bird forever. And it's just... I am a walrus. You know what? Playing it. No, nope. playing it. Boiling it or chipping a <laughs> tooth. The yep. fact that people decided to domesticate it in the first place makes sense once you realize that most grains are basically the same thing. Right. But honestly, that just makes me wish people figured out how to turn a piece of wheat into a big chunk of whatever to gnaw on. This whole thing disappointed me <laughs> so much that I actually moved it to the top of my list of reasons not to visit the Mayans if I ever get a time machine. <laughs> Nonetheless, as you can see, human endeavor can accomplish amazing <laughs> things. And just as a few thousand years of selective breeding can turn this into this, a few hours of learning a week can turn you into, you know, a more talented and interesting version of okay. and what <laughs> that's good man Protos did used to suck because it was tiny yeah 
He didn't say anything about it being rotten though. Yeah, I know. That's where I go. The fact that salt was so important because your shit would just spoil. That's what I think of all the time. Yeah. Could you imagine not having a, we were just talking about this because my grandfather used to be a farmer. So it was just like, could you imagine all the shit he had growing, right. all the green beans, and then you just toss them in a fucking bin? And hope for the best? The next year <laughs> you so use bad. the same bin. It's the same bin. Same bin. Maybe you did maintenance on it. Maybe not. Because you got like a hundred fucking bins. Wish bins. <laughs> hope bins. This is hopefully food for the next couple of Fingers weeks. Fingers crossed. And then you have like a fire or some shit burns all your wheat. Wow. Then your we, family you dies. I'll really see you guys in the Jesus. next video. Hope you learned something. Sam on the Academy. Uh, Skitten, thank you for joining me. Looking fantastic as always. You've been looking better and better in each video. Well, thank you, fiance. You're welcome, fiance. Crocs. We'll see Crocs. you. <laughs> Crocs. 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 Crocs, Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My Crocs are bold. I go to church wearing Crocs. I'm always turned Wearing Crocs My Crocs are great Your Crocs are lame With my Crocs I can cross a lake Crocs 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 Crocs